The information of this video should be used as a helpful guide for general purposes. Please ensure that all appropriate details and specifications for the job are followed, and that the work complies with the building code and all other regulations and manufacturer's instructions. This video is presented by Amasco Minerals Incorporated, proudly celebrating 45 years in the business. In the last videos you learned how to properly inspect the job site, how to properly hang paper, how to correctly hang wire, how to properly mix the base coat, and how to correctly apply the scratch coat and the brown coat. In this video, you will learn how to properly mix the finish coat. Before mixing the finish coat, make sure the base coat has cured and dried evenly. If there is precipitation, sufficient time must be allowed for drying to occur. If the finish is applied over damp walls, the final dry of the colored finish coat will have variations. Make sure the color and texture was approved and confirmed in writing. Check to confirm that the batch numbers and proportions of the Amasco colors are consistent. Imasco uses only oxide pigments. Do not use any other pigments. Make sure all Imasco premix was delivered and protected from moisture. Always measure and use the same amount of potable water per mix. Imasco recommends the following method for Imasco premix. In a clean mixer, add 4 liters of water, then add all containers of Imasco color. Once the color and water have been thoroughly mixed, then gradually add the Amasco premix and balance of the water to the ratio required. Once all material is in the mixer, mix for an additional five minutes and the finished coat is ready to apply. Make sure that the amount mixed can be spread by the tradesman without having to re-temper with water. Adding water can lead to color variation, weaken the mix, increase porosity, and increase the chance of efflorescence. This mixing method has proven to improve color consistency for darker colors.